It's an annual tradition, of course, uh, cutting down the Christmas tree. And uh, yesterday afternoon, <laughs> my wife always goes, hey, I'm, uh, we're going to go get the tree. I know you want to watch Army Navy, uh, Navy Saturday. I don't want to interrupt that. We're going to do it on Sunday. I go, well, can we do it Sunday morning? The NFL's on. Yeah, but you didn't say that there was a game you wanted to watch. I thought you said you wanted to watch the game at night. I said, I, wa- I want to watch him all day and all night, I think is what I said. Oh, well, I told the girls that we're going to go in the afternoon. So at 2 o'clock, right in the middle of everything, I uh, get all dressed up as only I can, and we go and chop down the tree. Still one of the, one of the more amazing marketing uh, approaches. You, we're going to charge you more for you to go cut down the tree. It's like, we'll charge you more for you to go pick apples. And we buy into it, literally. And uh, what happens is, it always sounds like everybody wants to cut down the tree. And as it turns out, I'm usually the one that ends up doing all the heavy lifting. I get under there, I'm Paul Bunyan. And then I got to bag it, and I got to wrap it up, and then drag it over to get it bagged up, and then put it on top of the car, and then take it home, and then lug it in. And then you try to put it up, make it straight. It's not straight, Dad. And then I twist it a little bit. uh, uh, Let's see, clockwise. And I go, clockwise. I'm underneath this damn thing, clockwise. No, not that way. And then we finally get, we got to put the star on top. So then I got to get a ladder, put the star on top. So it was around, I don't know, 6 o'clock when we're done. And then I got to kind of play. 6 o'clock? Yes. (laughs) Oh, yeah. No, No, we have to go get garland. We have to go get wreaths. And, you know, and then I'm trying to make jokes like uh, Aretha Franklin would be a great name for a wreath uh, or wreath Witherspoon <laughs> would be a good one. And, uh, I mean, I'm trying to have fun. They have wine samples, so I'm trying to do some <laughs> shots of wine. Uh, but we got the tree in. And I said, I'm not decorating. Not tonight. Not going to do it. And uh, so I got that this afternoon. Yeah, later this afternoon. I get to oh. decorate the tree. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Seton. Were you hanging out with the uh, host of College Game Day? Wreath Davis? Davis. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> my daughters don't think I'm funny. Uh, my wife doesn't either, by the way. But I would, I would be like, um, do you have the Aretha Franklin? And, and uh, the woman would be like, no, I don't think so. I said, okay. Do you think it's because it's the seventh straight year she's heard that joke from you? Any and then chance? I go... Well, what about the wreath Witherspoon? And then she goes, "Okay, I get that. That that's kind of funny." Yes, Paulie. But did you were you able to get that one nice picture that makes it look like you had a beautiful, lovely day with your family, as opposed to arguing, yelling, and uncomfortableness? No, the picture I showed you is me under the tree. I've got my pajamas on, uh. and, and I I got a Dan Patrick sweatshirt on, and I'm under there sawing down this monstrous tree. Bring your own saw, or did just no, no, no. Old kid give no, you no, one? no, they they give you one. Yeah, they give you one, and uh, oh, it's quite the, quite the experience. It, it really is. It's quite the experience. And I say, you know, my wife goes, well, it, doesn't it, it? It's fun. We could do it together. We get to go chop down the tree. I go, I, I chop down the tree. Like, how about we have a bonding experience where we just go to the place, to the tree farm, and then we buy one who somebody chopped it down. That's still bonding because... Me getting under this tree and spending 30 minutes chopping it down. <laughs> it's just me under the tree. There's no bonding there. Yeah, see. That's when, uh, like, four or five years ago, whenever I moved into the house I live in now, uh, my wife sent my son and I to go get the tree. Mm-hmm. And I came back with one that was, like, 10 feet tall. <laughs> it, it didn't even fit in the room. <laughs> Damn it, it was the best tree we ever had. It was gigantic. And I sent her a picture. She was working at the time. And I sent her a picture of it. She was like, what the hell is this thing? <laughs> like, a Christmas tree, babe. It, it's like Yao Ming walks into a room and he has to duck. And that your Christmas tree is ducking because it's gone all the way to the ceiling. Yes, Paul. I, I got the opposite seat, and this year I went with my two daughters and was tasked to get the tree, and I got the one that was ignored over to the side that was about five feet, two inches, mm. and I brought it back, and she's like, what is this? What are, what are they all out? I'm like, no, they weren't all out. She goes, what, were you trying to save money? I'm like, no, I felt bad for the tree. She goes, you felt bad? And, and, but the picture we took three minutes later, we look like we're having a grand old time. But, Paulie, I'm with you. My daughters go, Dad, are you getting emotional? Because I always feel bad for these trees that aren't going to get cut down. People walk right by them. Yes. Or we saw one that was chopped down 
and left. And I went, that is tragic. And, and my daughters know that it bums me out where I go, that tree is not going to get a Christmas. Yes, Todd. I love that because that's just like the Charlie Brown Christmas where he was sent. They, they thought he was going to bring back some big fancy tree and it brought him this, you know, weak one. But then they were able to somehow salvage it and decorate it. And he did a good thing because that was just an ignored old, like just bad looking tree. I don't know. think you should be involved in this conversation because you have not gotten a tree. <laughs> so not, I got this not put giant up a menorah, tree. but the menorah yeah. wouldn't fit. Yeah, but you don't put up the tree. You don't take down the tree. You don't decorate the tree. Well, the if only you have a supermodel come in here, then the that's only changed. time that you've ever been involved in a Christmas tree was when Chrissy Teigen came in <laughs> wearing her elf outfit, her skirt. I took significant interest in the, uh, the whole she Christmas She climbed holiday. up the ladder, and Todd, of course, was decorating at the bottom of the tree. Well, it looked like it was shaking as she was going to fall. I said, someone's going to hold okay. the, uh, the base. Uh, but she quickly converted and then jumped right in. <laughs> I did. I called my local <laughs> rabbi to explain the situation. He gave me a weekend pass. Yeah. Uh, he, we hid the, uh, the uh, Hanukkah decorations when Chrissy Teigen came. Yeah.